Tales of Graces F. So exciting. Oh, I absolutely love this game. Yeah, 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 I'm on a boat or something. We're headed towards World's End after Richard has brutally sucked all the LF from the world's largest thingies. Or the hell they're called. Now he's trying to go to the core of the planet and drink all that LF and basically destroy the world. What a jerk. Oh, hey, Sophie. Checking out the view? you something? Is Richard still your friend? Yeah, Sophie. He is. But not just me. He's your friend as well, right? Remember the pact of friendship we made together? But last time we tried, we couldn't do it. Well then, we'll just make another pact once Richard is back to normal. As long as we care for each other, the pact can be remade. Can we still remake it if I defeat him? Are you saying you're going to do that to protect us? If we do the Pact of Friendship with Richard again, will it make these feelings go away? I have this feeling that if I don't destroy him, I'll lose my other friends. But Richard is my friend too, so why do I feel this way? You've done everything you can to protect us, Sophie. There's no need for you to shoulder everything alone. Let me take care of Richard. He's a good person. I know he is. There must be a reason for what he's doing. Asbel. So this is World's Eye. It's not very big. So where's the entrance to the Lestalia? Let's snoop around and see what we can find. Did we beat you here, Richard? Or have you already come and gone? Either way, I will stop you. Hey, this must lead to the Lostalia, but it's been sealed off. Well, it looks like we beat Richard here. Look! Look up there! Richard! What happened to you? I wish they called him the short for Richard. I don't think his body can handle all of that elephant he's been absorbing. Why? 
Richard! Stop! Stop right there! Shut up! All of you just shut up! I've come too far to let you stand in my way! I'm I will let you be quite literally! Nothing else we can do, except grant him a quick and merciful end. No, wait, stop! I can hear his voice. I hear Richard's voice. Aspel. Aspel. Is that you? Richard! And the pain is too much. Help me, Aspel! Yes, I'm right here for you. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Don't kill me. Please, Aspel. You are my friend. Not anymore, champ. Kill it. Burn it. Stab it. I was there. Oh, it's you again. Protos Hase? Protos Hase? We saw that name in the Archive of Wisdom. No, you're wrong. I... I am... I'm Sophie. Richard. Let's make a friendship pact. Then everything will be okay. Oh, Sophie. Die. <laughs> what? what the? Oh look, it's Sophie! Elon Musk trying to Sophie! collect all the world's Talk money to me. and has one bank account. Please what open your eyes! Bit? No! Time has come, I have finally arrived. And now there is no one who can stand in my way! Everyone run! 
we don't move now, then we won't make it out of here alive! Sophie! Sophie! Asda, we have to go! Damn! Us. You've been unconscious for a while. What happened to him? He was. He was enveloped by some kind of strange cocoon. Okay, so and we don't really know there. what became of him. Richard. <laughs> Sophie, try to hold on. <laughs> What happened to everyone? Where are you? Everything's a blur. What? Where did you go? I can't see you. Sophie, tell us. What's wrong? We're right here, Sophie. Can you see anything? Your faces are getting blurry. I can't see. This could be an after effect from the attack. If we don't help her, she might lose her sight. No. It's no use. I can't seem to heal her with either arts or medicine. We've got to do something. What else can we try? She won't get any better just lying on the ground. Let's find an inn or something. How's she doing? A little better. At least she's sleeping now. Sophie. Hey, Asbel. This is gonna sound weird, but I don't think Sophie's human. At least not like us. Hey! 
Don't yell at me. She's just not reacting like a normal person, you know? Human or not, she's still in pain. If you're suggesting we just abandon her... Oh, jeez, what's wrong with you? No, I'm trying to help. Do you remember when I mentioned Fodra back at the Archive of Wisdom? I remember you saying that Protos Haste came from there. And that Protos Haste stopped Lambda from destroying the Valcanus. Well, if Richard is right, and Sophie is Proto's Haste, then there might be a way to help her. But we'll have to take her to Fodra. Look, guys, if arts don't work and medicines don't work, then we're about out of options. Of course, I can't promise this'll work either. Richard could have been lying or crazy or whatever. And the records in the archive were totally old. So yeah, it might not work. But I think it's the only shot we have. How would we get to Fodra? I can't just let Sophie suffer like this. It's my turn to save her for once. So please, get me to Fodra. I'll do whatever it takes. And what? The rest of us will just sit here and wait for your return? Everyone feels the same as you, Asbel. Wait, <laughs> are you sure? Of course! We've come this far, haven't we? Thanks, everyone. Then let's get to Fodra and figure out how to save our friend. Right, yes. Richard. If we're lucky, we might even learn something about what happened to Richard. What do you mean? I think Richard is connected to that Lambda guy. Wait, you do? Yeah, so we should keep our eyes open and try to learn as much as we can. But first we need to go back to the Archive of Wisdom, because I totally don't know how to get to Fodra. But once I figure that out, we'll head there toot sweet. Ah, there you are, Pascal. The captain said you were in trouble, so we came here right away. The Overseer has concluded her discussions with Chancellor Eigen. Fendel has pledged us their full support. The information you seek will not be found in the Archive of Wisdom. Instead, you will need to visit our other archive, the Lost Archive. We have another archive? Of sort. Long ago, you see, we Amarsians lived in a place far from our current home. When we left, we were unable to bring all that we had acquired, and so some items were sealed away. Oh, that's cool. So where is this other archive? In a stratton city called Sable Isole. It won't be easy to reach Sable Isole from here. Fendel and Strata aren't on good terms, and no ships sail between here and there. It is already taken care of. The Overseer has graciously arranged for Chancellor Eigen to provide a ship. It is waiting in the harbor and ready to sail upon your word. Thank you. This will be a great help. Or great. We will watch over your friend Sophie while you are gone. There is no need for concern. Thank you, Poisson. Hang in there, Sophie. We're going to make you better. I promise. No. The ship is ready and we need to head to the port, I guess. Uh, don't take my selfie away from me. If what Pascal says is true, then that means... Asbel, I know what you're thinking, and you don't have to feel that way. It doesn't matter what we find out. To us, Sophie will always be Sophie, right? Huh? Whatever truths we learn will only help us understand Sophie better. Even with everything that's happened, I'm just glad that I had a chance to get to know her. She's meant the world to us, and nothing is going to change that. You're... You're right. All the things we've done, all the memories we share. We have to protect Sophie. It's the only option. <laughs> That's more like it. That look fits you much better than when you're down. You're really sweet, Sharia. Huh? I, uh, where did that come from? Thank you. 
You should be in bed. I'm sorry. She insisted on seeing you. I'm coming with you. I can't stay in bed while you fight for me. And I won't get better here. I want to be with you. I won't get in the way. I promise. So please, please let me stay. Sophie, all right. But no heroics, okay? Thanks, Asbel. This is a letter from Chancellor Eigen to the president of Strata. I believe the Chancellor wishes to mend ties between the two countries. If ever all countries needed to work together, that time is now. We understand. We'll make sure the letter arrives safely. The quickest way to Sable Azole is through Ol Rey, so we should head there first. They won't be pleased to see a Fendolian ship sail into port, but I'm sure we can explain the situation. Imagine, sailing from Fendel to Strata. These are indeed interesting times. And this is for you, Pascal. Oh, cool! This little doodad will let us send messages back and forth. I'll contact you immediately if anything changes. All right, let's get going. <laughs> Okay, Sophie? You need help? I'm fine. Thank you both. We're on the ocean. I can't see it, but I can smell it. We rode a boat together when you were little, didn't we, Asba? Yeah, when we went to Barona. You wanted to sail around the world with everyone someday. Your dream came true, Asba. Though I haven't recovered my memory yet. Still, I'm happy we can travel together. Sophie, you should get some sleep. I'm fine. Everything is blurry, but I see lots of blue. I wonder if I'll lose my sight completely. I'd miss seeing all my friends. I guess it's good that I can still remember you. Sharia has pretty hair, and Asbel has a kind smile. Remembering these things makes me happy, even if I won't see them anymore. So I'll be fine. 
Oh, Sophie. We'll find a way to heal you. I promise. Even if I'm not like you? What do you mean? Nothing. It's nothing. Jerks really know how to make a girl feel welcome. Considering we're the first ship from Fendel to ever dock here, it's hard to blame them. L Lieutenant Oswell, sir. Fools, stand down at once. I'm terribly sorry, Lieutenant. If we'd had known it was you, this never would have happened. Apologies are unnecessary. You were right to be wary of such a vessel. Now, please tell us where to find the President. He's traveling here to interview witnesses who've seen the situation at World's Eye. He's slated to stop at Sable Isoli on his way. Excellent. Then we can deliver this letter to him in person. Let's hurry to Sable Isoli before we miss him. Anyways, we're gonna do a quick side quest. I'm not gonna even with the cutscene for it or whatever. Sometimes I get so lost in serious thought. About what? Isole, isn't that... It's a city devoted to the research of Creus art. Sheria, what's wrong? When we visited Sable Isole, people were trying to keep the Rakugan from being killed. Is that right? Hmm. Interesting. Then I assume that must have been when you were all swallowed by the Rakugan. Stop it! Please, don't ever bring that up again. Excuse me, did I... Did I say something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay... What are you not telling me? All the butt jokes, my dear. device work, the one Poisson gave you. It's got some kind of mechanical bird that pops out and flies back to Poisson. Did you see this thing, Captain? It's really something. Hmm. Ah, I guess you're still worried about that letter, huh? Yes. What if the President refuses to accept the Chancellor's word? The Captain is all worried. Stop. Seems to be aging rapidly. Stop. And... Send. Bye bye. Wow, look at it soar through the sky. You guys should be nicer to the captain. Just because he's worrying all the time doesn't mean he's getting old. Well, one thing is for certain I'm not too old to take you young whelps over my knee. Thank you. 
Mr. President? Ah, excellent. You've returned from your Fendel excursion. We came here as soon as we could. Mr. President, we have a personal letter for you from Chancellor Eigen. Hmm, I see. So King Richard is involved with the incident at World's Eye. I'm sorry, Mr. President. We weren't strong enough to stop him. Don't apologize. This matter goes far beyond mere strength of arms. It's time for the people of this world to come together and face their common enemy. And it seems Chancellor Eigen feels the same. We had a second reason for coming to Sable Isole, sir. We are searching for the lost archive of the Amarsians. Lost archive? Yes, sir. The Overseer said we would find it here. We thought it might be located in the research tower. And this archive contains information that will help in our struggle against King Richard. We believe so, sir. We discovered ruins in the deepest part of the tower that appear to be of uh, a Marcian origin. However, they are protected by a series of complex security mechanisms, so we have been unable to examine them closely. Security mechanisms, huh? I might be able to jigger them open, but I won't know until I try. Mr. President, will you allow us to investigate these ruins? Yes, of course. The tower is yours. However, as this is a matter of state security, I must insist that we accompany you. Is this acceptable? Of course, Mr. President. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain. Please, don't worry. The fault is mine. But how did you know it was me who bumped into you? Your body is rugged. I knew right away. Can you recognize everyone that way? Yes, except everyone is different. But I know when they're around by their scent, their voice, and the sound of their footsteps. Oh, oh, how do you know it's me, Sophie? Perhaps when you're around, Sophie feels an instinctual urge to run away. Oh, that's totally not true. No, of course not. You're always very warm to everyone, Pascal. So even when you're far away, I know it's you. Sophie! <laughs> Pascal? Well, it's a good thing Sophie can't see you now. Shut up, Captain! <sighs> So this is the Amarcian's other archive, huh? It looks just like the machines we saw earlier. In that case, I should be able to whack this into shape in a jiffy. Astounding. It's amazing that a device so old still functions and that a single girl could so easily crack the security which had confounded our brightest scientists. Okay, let's see. Fodra. Fodra. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. What is it? Well, I found a route to Fodra, but I'm not sure it'll work. Also, it's kind of super dangerous. First, we need to find this flying shuttle that's designed to travel through the aquasphere. But apparently it can't just ploop on through on its own. It seems like there's another piece to the puzzle. Hold on, what's the aquasphere? It's this giant, like, membrane of water in the sky that covers our entire world. 
Are you saying there's an ocean in the sky? Is there anything in there about how to cross this barrier? Well, it seems like the ancient Amarsians were planning on just busting open a hole for the shuttle to pass through. They were working on a method that involved firing rays of intense heat at the aquasphere right before the shuttle would have launched. In theory, the rays would have burned a hole in the barrier and allowed the shuttle to break through. Hmm, so flying straight up won't work. What if we came in at an angle instead? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! We can just use centrifugal force to increase the shuttle's natural thrust! This will totally work! I mean, I'm mostly positive it will totally work. Pretty much. It's worth a shot. Besides, we're used to beating the odds by now. Okay! So first, we need to check the shuttle and see if it can still fly. Where is it exactly? Right next to your hometown! Isn't that weird? Apparently, there's an entrance in the Seaside Cavern in Northern Lont. Perfect. Let's make for the Seaside Cavern at once. Right. If we... That'll be the fastest way to reach the cavern. Did you hear that, Sophie? You're going to be okay. Thank you, Asbel. Just hang in there. an urgent message from Ol' Ray. The fleet we sent to investigate World's Eye is under attack. Who would be attacking us now? Windor? No, sir. Apparently it's a group of monsters based on the island itself. What? What's the current status of the fleet? They've sustained heavy damage, sir, and we're forced to retreat back to the harbor. I will see them at once. I'd like to hear their story for myself. We should get back to Ol' Ray as well. Is it possible these monsters from World's Eye are somehow... Connected to Richard? It's not an unreasonable assumption. But finding a cure for Sophie comes first. Definitely. So, what do you know about this seaside cavern we're headed to? When we used the cavern to infiltrate the Fendolian camp a while back, we had to swim through a lot of flooded areas. Oh yeah? Then I guess our clothes are gonna get wet. Yeah, when Sherry went through the first time, <laughs> ah, to be so young that mere memories make you blush. Captain, don't make fun of us. Are the reports of monsters originating from World's Eye true? Yes, sir. The moment we approached, they just came pouring out of that huge cocoon thing. We tried to stand and fight, but we were terribly outnumbered. To stay would have meant the loss of the fleet, and so the order was given to fall back. Even now, the monsters continue to spread across the seas. We've had numerous reports of attacks on civilian vessels. We should restrict sea travel at once. Perhaps this is part of King Richard's plan. 
and he thinks to conquer the world with a fantastic army of monsters. No, this can't be. Attend to the wounded and get me estimates on the damage. Then gather every man who can wield iron and get them on ships. We must not let these monsters reach land. Sir, yes. It seems sailing to Lond is out of the question. This isn't good. We don't have time to spare. Not to worry. I'll see that one of our ships gets you to your destination. Thank you, Mr. President. Come see me when you're ready to leave. Military plans are proceeding offshore. All sea travel has been restricted until further notice. Mm. Hang in there, Sophie. I'm okay. Hey, do you really think this Fodra place could exist on the other side of the sky? It certainly does sound like a fool's errand. And yet it's an errand we have no choice but to undertake. The ancient Amarsians totally knew this day would come. That's why they left a method for us to reach Fodra. Yes. When you say that, it almost feels possible. Like it's our destiny. Hey, this yeah, I agree. Destiny. All we can do at this point is just believe in ourselves and move forward. We can't afford to sit around and do nothing. So just hang in there, Sophie. I know you'll be okay. It doesn't happen when I configure the mechanisms to work properly, but when I'm trying to overclock it, it gets like all pissed off. I think it's because I don't have enough RAM, and that's okay. I'll be rectifying that shortly. Oh shit, these are all like evil. These are different enemies. Ah, too bad. Nice try, though. Meh. I'm sure it'll be plenty of time for that later. Lord Hubert, what were you doing in Fendel? We had heard you set off for Strata. I don't see any Fendel soldiers here. That's because they're gone. Just up and vanished one day without a trace. We figured they were up to something, so everyone's been on edge. The situation has changed. Our countries can't afford to fight each other right now. The three Valkanis have been completely drained of Elif. Our countries have come together in an attempt to resolve the crisis. Balconist. That's what I was thinking of earlier. Please, you must let us pass. Yes, of course.
Here we go. Good. It looks like she's finally asleep. <laughs> Do you remember the last time the three of us came here? I didn't want to believe that strange girl was really Sophie. You were so sure. And I was convinced you were just trying to flee from the reality of what had actually happened. That's harsh, but also true. Hey, Asbel, let me help you. I'll carry Sophie this time around. Are you sure? She looks tiny, but she's actually pretty heavy. Don't worry, I can do it. One, two, three... Ooh. <laughs> wow, she is a lot heavier than she looks. I told you, right? Here, let me take her. No, I said I'll do it, and I just... I want to be close to her right now. The only reason I remember that is because I've played this game before. Like that shit is... I think I ran around in this place for an hour looking for it the last time. Or rather, first time I played it, and it was super annoying. I can't believe this was here all this time. This ship will take us to Fodra? I can't imagine how it would even fly. Oh, so that's it. Can you make it work? Hold on, I'm getting there. Looking. Oh, that's nothing. We're just getting started here. Let me see. So if the shuttle actually works, we're gonna need... Wow, okay. We've got two zappy heat ray cannons. One in Strata and one in Fendel. They're designed to fire simultaneously and focus on a single point in the aquasphere. Oh, man. This is crazy cool. How can we use the cannons if they're in two separate countries? I think we can control them from here. Looks like we can adjust the angles and everything. Oh, nuts. <laughs> is something wrong? Well, the cannon in Strata is fine, but the one in Fendel is busted or something. Of course it is. Yeah, it's not responding. I'm going to have to go there and see if I can figure it out. But then... Assuming everything else works, the shuttle is piloted remotely, so we need someone to stay here and fly it. Is that something one of us can do? Maybe me, but... Yeah, I don't know. You need real technical know-how to pull it off. I'd ask my sister. But I don't think she's talking to me right now. Anyway, we can worry about that later. I'll ask the Overseer or something if it comes to it. Right now, we should focus on getting to Fendel so I can fix the cannon. It's in a facility on the far side of Fendel Mountain Pass, up near Velenik. Right. Let's get moving. cocoon are causing all kinds of trouble. They've ordered all civilian ships to stop sailing into or out of Fendel. Sounds like we'd better hurry. Right. Let me just do a little tap a tap a You okay? Bon voyage! What was that? Richard's monsters, I imagine. They were headed toward Lant. No! We should get to Lant immediately. They'll need our help. Come on, let's move!
Come on, let's hurry back to Lont. Calm down. When you get excited like this, you lose sight of everything around you. You need to analyze the situation rationally. Yeah, but that's why you're here, Hubert. Analyzing situations is your job. You know that's not me. If there's something I have a chance of protecting, I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's safe. That's what Sophie taught me. I see. Then perhaps I should stop holding back. Well enough then. If I ever see you slacking off in this department, I will let you know in no uncertain terms. Good. I'm counting on it, Hubert. defeated the monsters! Sophie, you okay? Hold on. Thank you, Asbel. You helped save us all. It's hard to believe that a tiny girl like her could do all that. Please get her back to the manor, so she can get some rest. I'll take care of things around here. Asbel, Hubert, I'm so glad you're safe. You've been gone for so long. I was worried I might never see you again. I'm sorry for the concern, Mom. We'll explain everything later. Frederick, could you please get a room ready? Sophie needs to rest. Your own room is already prepared, Master Asbel. Would that be acceptable? It's fine. Thank you, Frederick.
She tries to protect us. Makes me feel kind of lame. Come in. I apologize for intruding at such a time, young masters. Bailey is downstairs and wishes to speak with you right away. I asked him to wait in the study for now. Should I send him away? Hmm. No, that's fine. We'll be right down. Keep an eye on Sophie, all right? We'll be right back. I swore long ago that I would be the one to protect everyone. But once again, Sophie was the one who saved us. It has been very difficult seeing Lant turned into a battleground once more. I try and I try, but what if I never find the strength to protect those most important to me? How much more must we endure before we reach the ideals we strive for? You and your companions saved the people of Lant. We are in your debt. And Asbel, you... You saved my life. Thank you. Any of us would have done the same. How is your friend doing? She's resting, but she's not feeling well. That poor girl. She's suffering for helping us. No, she's been in failing health for a while now. It's nothing new, but thank you for your concern. Will you stay in Lant? Unfortunately, no. We have pressing business elsewhere. We have to save Sophie. And Richard, too. I see. We have a long road ahead of us to make that happen. I trust you'll take care of things while we're gone. Asbel, perhaps I have misjudged you. Thanks, Bailey. If you'll excuse me, I'll be going now. thinking. This worries me. I'm thinking about our father. About how I rebelled against his authority. About how I left. I thought that becoming a knight was all I needed to protect the people I loved. But I was wrong. It wasn't enough. I wasn't ready to be the Lord of Lant. It was just a title they hung around my neck. What thoughts did Dad have as he lived and died as the Lord of Lant? You're a lot like your father was. Uh, Mom? He spent all of his time worrying about us, and wondering if he was doing the right thing. But he hid that concern behind a mask of strength and discipline. When the two of you left, he thought of almost nothing else. And he worried that his decisions, no matter how well-intentioned, had caused you both to suffer. It's hard to imagine him thinking like that. 
Feelings were never your father's strong suit. He was never able to express how much he loved you both. I know the two of you are going through a lot right now, but what matters is that you keep trying to do what you believe is right. Your father used to say that. He raised you well, whether you realize it or not. And his spirit will help you in the dark days to come. Just remember, whatever path you take, I will always be here for you. And if your father were here, he would say the same. Mom. Welcome back. Asbel. Sophie, wait. Don't get up. I'm okay. Hey, Sophie. I'm here. We'll heal you, Sophie. I promise. All right. Let's get back to Fendel and fix that heat ray cannon. Do you know the exact location, Pascal? Yep. We can take the road that leads from North Lawn to Velenik. The cannon is just past Fendel Mountain Pass. Hang in there, Sophie. We're almost home. I will. Wait! Please, take this with you. What is it? Just a little basket of goodies. I made all your old favorites, and there's enough for everyone. Oh. Oh my gosh! You're the best mom ever! You are too kind, Lady Carrie. Thanks, Mom. Take care of each other. And be careful. You too. We'll see. Carrie says, I'm glad you're both here. I want you to take this. Hubert says, what's this? Carrie says, it's your father's diary. I always meant to show it to you someday. There were many things your father was never able to tell you. I thought it important that you know how he truly felt. Hubert reads from the diary and says, Today I informed Sir Oswell's servant of my conditions for adopting Hubert. It is my most fond hope that Hubert grow up safe and healthy, that he not become a tool used for political gain. 
that he receive the finest education Sir Oswell can provide. I wish him to learn not only academics, but the art of combat. Hubert is bright and tenacious. He can accomplish many things under Sir Oswell. I want him to be proud of the man he will become. Above all else, I want him to avoid having to fight for my title. The very same fight that ruined my brother and I's relationship. I worry what Asbel will think when he learns of this. He'll likely let me know about his displeasure, as he never has been one to stand quietly to the side. Perhaps when he is older, he will understand the difficult decisions adults are often forced to make. In truth, I fear how he will react. I fear he may turn his back on his family and leave. Just like my own brother did. Anyways, Prince Richard is currently here as a guest of the manor. I must not let him become a victim of the struggle for the throne. For I know all too well the damage that type of struggle can do. I am not usually a man to beseech the heavens for aid, but if ever there was a time for it, it's now. Please, if anyone is listening, watch over my sons and keep them safe. Please, I beg of you with all my heart. Asbel left home and fled for the capital today. I have no choice but to trust in my sons and their potential. I must believe that Asbel and Hubert can bring hope back to Lant, and that no challenge will be too great for them to overcome. Be strong, my beloved sons. I believe in you. Lady Carrie says, When your father was your age, your grandfather chose him to rule Lant instead of your uncle Alden. As Alden was the eldest son, the decision was a surprise, but your grandfather would not be swayed. A fierce argument soon erupted between your father and Alden. Eventually your uncle was banished from Lant, and he died without ever resolving his feelings. Your father blamed himself for this. He was determined that you two not walk the same path. That's why he made it no secret that Asbel was to inherit Lant and also why he wanted Hubert to have access to the kinds of opportunities the Oswell family could provide. In truth, this decision haunted him, even to no end. He worried that he was trying too hard to repent for what happened with him and his brother, and that this may have caused both of you to suffer endlessly. Hubert said he had to leave something like this behind. How am I supposed to keep hating him now? This is so like him. Why couldn't he have told us this sooner? Why did he have to wait until he was dead? As Bill said, You know, things actually worked out like he hoped. You and I were able to overcome our differences, right? And now we fight not just for Lon's future, but for the future of the entire world. I hope you're still out there watching us. I'm not that bright so I'm sure I'll need your guidance in the future. And when I do, I hope... I hope you'll be there. Carrie says, Oh, Asbel. Hmm. There's a rice omelet in the picnic basket Lady Carrie gave us. Why are you telling me this? Because it was your favorite dish when we were all still kids. I'm sure that's why your mother included it. Sheria, please. I don't particularly care for omelets. Okay, I'll toss it. What? <laughs> no! Oh? Well, maybe I'll just eat it then. That won't be necessary. I'll eat them. So you still like them? I do not! But I have nothing against them either. And how do you feel about Asbel? I have nothing against him. <laughs> I knew it! That toil says, I'm offering you a special one-time thingy to get you to some specific place for free. Oh. 
Where should we go next? Let's try the little side road that cuts to the east from here. It's just to the right of the small shack. They call that the untrodden snowfield. Much like Mount Zavhurt, the people of Fendel never go anywhere near it. This seems like another case of the Amarsians trying to keep people away from something. I know, right? I mean, how do you even know the field is snowy if you don't tread it? <laughs> Must you oh, be convenient Well, that was passable. It won't be long. He climbs by the lights. Keep it cool. my call. Are you all right, Sharia? Can you stand? true. You're no different than anybody else. That's right, Sophie. I'm so tired of troubling everyone. 
Don't be absurd, Sophie. It's no trouble. I... I can't. Everything's blurry. I can't see... you. Sophie! We gotta fix that stupid cannon! Come on, let's get her to Fodra! to go. There. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Once the cannon's up and running, we can control it with the machine in the seaside cavern. Fly the shuttle? Well, I kind of asked Poisson to ask her for me, but she said no? Yeah, she's all holed up in her lab and won't come out. I guess she left a letter to explain everything. Anyway, I'm gonna have to rig the shuttle so I can control it myself while on board. Can you do that? Sure, if we have enough time. Which we probably don't. But we'll worry about that later. Let's get inside so I can start mucking around. Okay. He cleansed by the light! He cleansed by the light! Plenty of room for improvement, but we can let... Pascal, are there really only three Valkanis in the entire world? Yep. Wind, water, and fire. But couldn't there be a fourth? Maybe ice. Like this ice drop flower here. In that case, we might not need to go to that Fodrin city. There might still be a way to cure Sophie. Asbel, I hate to break it to you, but you're way out of your league with this stuff. Ice is just frozen water. There is no fourth. You sure? Promise. And it doesn't apply to just Falconus either. Those three types of Elith are the foundation of any Creus. I mean, life is based on those three, so I guess you could call whatever compromises life. Well, if not the fourth Elith, then the zeroth Elith. Huh? But look, none of this has to do with anything. I know. Sorry I keep asking stupid questions. Just hold it together and stuff. If not, we'll never make it to Fodra.
Sophie's condition doesn't seem to be improving. Maybe we should take her to a doctor again. No way! If the Amarsians couldn't help her, I doubt some Sawbones can either. The only way to save Sophie is to take her to Fodra. Yes, I agree. I'm sorry, everyone, for causing you so much trouble. But I want to stay with you. Oh, I'm so sorry. We know, Sophie. But don't overdo it, okay? If it's too hard for you, we'll go back together. Sister is still mad. Pascal, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Yeah? Just because Fourier is angry, it doesn't necessarily mean that you did something wrong. Wait, are you consoling me? Do not misunderstand my intentions. I simply wanted to point it out. Thanks for trying to console me. I am not consoling you. You are totally consoling me. All right, fine. I am done talking. Uh, it's gonna be a few days before I get back on and we go again. 